Donald Macholtz lives in San Jose. In fact, works quietly as a, as a high-tech uh, firm operator down there. But it won't be long before the whole world, in fact, the scientific world, knows his name. Because Donald, also an amateur astronomer, has discovered a comet and using a homemade telescope to do it. Don is in our South Bay Bureau tonight to talk, to talk about this. Donald, you're 32 years old, and you're already making scientific history. Uh, first of all, this, this comet bears your name, does it not? Yes, that's correct, Comet Markholtz. All right, were you looking for a comet, or did you stumble on it? No, I was looking for a comet. I've been doing this for about 10 and a half years. I spend about 200 hours or 300 hours a year searching for comets. And there it was. This is not the uh, first comet you, you've discovered, I understand. No, I did discover one in 1978. All right, the device, I'm going to ask the cameraman to pull out instead of, can you have the cameraman pull out instead of go in to Donald? There we go. The device that you're sitting next to is the homemade telescope that you, uh, reflector telescope that, that you developed yourself. Didn't go out and spend $10,000 to make space history, but you built this yourself. How does it work? This is the optical uh, tube for the telescope. The other half is a hardware which supports it, which isn't here right now. But it has a 10-inch mirror inside the tube down at this end. That brings the light up toward this end, and it's uh, a small mirror brings the light out toward the eyepiece. What I do then is to look through the eyepiece, and uh, from there I can uh, look out into the heavens and see the stars and galaxies and clusters and all kinds of neat things. Is that a picture of uh, space in, in front of the telescope there? This is a star chart which I always keep right in front of me. It identifies many of the galaxies and clusters which sometimes appear as comets. Uh -huh. Interesting. I guess it's time to uh, get a patent on that thing, right? <laughs> well, I don't know. Maybe I should. <laughs> okay. A lot of people spend a lot of money. Thank you very much, and congratulations. Thank you. Oh, Mac Holtz. There's a guy who uh, uses his, uh, well, his brains and his expertise, and he builds uh, these nifty. things, and he discovers comets. And it's wondrous. If you, if you ever spend any time looking even in a homemade telescope like that one, you start to see galaxies. As you mentioned, uh, you know, crab nebulae out there, and it's uh -huh. very, very fascinating stuff. And By the way, here's another expert, Mark Thompson. We should introduce Not you. in that stuff, though. No, that's... Uh, uh, well, weather expert. I don't, I don't know the weather expert. <laughs> <laughs> and when we come back, a Halley's Comet Party in Santa...